Hi, everyone. My name is Daxon Tebbs, and I'm a student here at Southern Utah University. And today I would like to talk about a dilemma that a man by the name of James Alderson uh, faced in his professional career, um, where he was a whistleblower of a national uh, scheme um, in the hospital industry. Um, just a little bit about James uh, Alderson. Uh, he received his education at Montana State University, where um, he's from, and he was grown up around all these small towns, so not a well-known guy, but uh, he began working at his local uh, hospital, North Valley, uh, where he became their finance officer um, after they were his client for some time for his accounting firm. <clears throat> um, shortly after, um, their head administrator uh, moved on from the hospital industry, and, and so the hospital decided to hire somebody uh, by the name of Quorum, uh, where they were a management company and they thought that they could go with them. Um, so Quorum um, brought this process where they would uh, take two uh, cost uh, sheets and they would and gather information. Um, and the purpose of this was to take the two uh, so that they could maximize their reimbursements uh, for the hospital's expenses. Um, thankfully, uh, James, uh, he was he caught on quickly that this was some unethical um, practices that they were using, um, which was overall was to take advantage of the Medicare system. And so um, they, were, they were practicing some things that James did not um, agree with. Um, <clears throat> But since James did not want to prepare these two cost reports um, to track the expenses, uh, they they terminated him. And James um, Alderson believed that they did that because he wouldn't prepare those sheets. And so he filed a wrongful termination lawsuit. Um, and in that process, he re he requested some of those uh, some paperwork that he could review to kind of see if what he thought to be was the reason was in fact that because of that. Um, and so that confirmed it and uh, he was invited to go in and to be a whistleblower uh, for this case. Um, and in that time, the federal government uh, began investigating it and to seeing if this was uh, truly something uh, that he was right about. Um, and in their search as James was also um, investigating, pulling together all the data possible. Um, it unfolded a nationwide uh, scheme um, that all these hospitals were taking advantage, taking advantage of the Medicare system. Um, now, James Alderson did this correctly by following the MIMA Statement of Ethical Professional Practice. Um, some things that I noticed that he did correctly was one he kept the confidentiality um, confidential. Uh, he didn't. He didn't. He wasn't even able to go and and discuss this with his family and friends of what was happening. Um, he sealed it um, at the court, and he was unable to to discuss any of this. And he waited until he was authorized to do so. And then second um, was his integrity. Uh, James kept his integrity from start to finish, um, and that's something that. Uh, definitely we need to take note of that he didn't stand for the unethical practices and stood for what was right. Um, and then he remained credible. Um, he didn't, he made sure that what he was uh, whistleblowing uh, was in fact something to whistleblow and that it was unethical uh, what they were doing. And so he gathered all that evidence to remain credible. And then lastly, uh, he stood to resolve the ethical issues. He didn't just let them get away with this. Um, he was determined to meet with lawyers and the government and people like that in order to solve this. And so um, James uh, did a great job at, at, at maintaining that. Um, he's a great example for each of us that, you know, it just takes one to make a difference um, in the world, uh, to have the courage to act. Um, you know, in the business world, we need to be morally courageous and stand for uh, for what's right. and 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 follow the, that statement to, to stand for what's right and to correct those unethical issues. 
And so that's the question we each need to ask ourselves is, will we be morally courageous? Thank you very much.